Hi, I'm Finn. Last year I won Junior Bake Off. The winner of Junior Bake Off 2019 <laughs> is Finn. I'm using my time at home to perfect my baking skills. I love icing cakes, making cakes, icing biscuits, anything, but especially I love making bread. Bread is absolutely amazing and with a few simple ingredients you can make things like this. Once you've washed your hands, get out all of your ingredients and a large mixing bowl. So you'll need 500 grams of plain or strong flour, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sugar and 14 grams of yeast, two packets. You'll also need 40 grams of olive oil and 320 millilitres of warm water. So just add the flour into the bowl. I'm also going to add my two teaspoons of salt. I'm just going to get the yeast and just add all of it into the water and we're also going to add our sugar and then we're just going to give it a mix. Grab a piece of cling film and just wrap it around the top, leaving it for five minutes until it starts to bubble up. That's a sign that we know that the yeast is alive and it's working well. Now we can add it to the flour with the olive oil and mix it until we have a nice dough. Continue to give that a mix and then just slowly keep adding more of the water. So it's starting to clump a little bit now where the flour's getting hydrated. Then just continue to just mix this until it's all incorporated. You can do this with a stand mixer if you want, fitted with a dough hook. However, I'm just going to show you how to do this by hand. The old way. So this is the stage where you can see what the dough is like a little bit. It should just be like quite sticky. It's quite fun to play with at the minute. <laughs> Whoosh. Once you've got the dough onto the work surface, give it a bit of a knead using the palm of your hand just to push it over itself and just use your full body weight just to really press down on the dough and just turn it once you've pushed it away from you. We're just needing this to create enough gluten so that when the yeast starts to make bubbles of carbon dioxide the gluten's strong enough to sort of trap it and keep hold of it so you have like a really nice structure in your bread and just to check when it's ready rip a little bit of dough off. It's sort of like making a really small pizza stretch it and pull it and you should be able to see through it when it's ready. Pour about a tablespoon of oil into the bowl and just spread it about with your hands just so when the dough rises it doesn't stick. Place it into the bowl, press it down a little bit and then just flip it over, cover it with cling film and leave it in a warm place for about an hour. I'm going to show you how to shape it but first we've got to knock the dough back. This is my favourite part because you just, it's just really satisfying to watch. Get your dough, you're smoothing out the top side of it. Once it's a nice shaped ball, you can either leave it as that or you can just sort of rock it back and forth just to create like an oval sort of loaf. So once you've got it the shape that you want, just grab a little bit of flour and just dust it on the tray, transfer it over and leave this to proof for half an hour. The bread has finished its second proof, it's doubled in size. The only thing we need to do now is just some flour on the top and score the bread with a really, really sharp knife. Make sure you ask an adult to help you do it. I've got a tray here with a little bit of water in it. This will just create some steam in the oven which will help the bread get a really good crust on it. So I'm just placing this in the oven now. It's been preheated at 200 degrees and it's gonna go in for about 30 to 35 minutes. My bread's come out of the oven now and one way to check that it's done is to tap the base of the bread and if it sounds hollow then it's done. Leave this on a cooling rack to cool down until it's about room temperature and that's how to make a delicious loaf of bread. I don't know about you but I think that is pretty good and I think you should try it at home too.